Good evening, my friend. It is I, Lamont, from Bash's University, here to give you an instructional video on your Mamba Monster XL2. Sending it to Castle is probably your best option. Now, if Castle has told you to munch upon a horse's manure, you're out of warranty, you might be like me, and you may have to fix it yourself. This is only for people who have an XL2 that is out of warranty. So I blow out my caps on my XL2. Uh, this is the XL2 that was on my uh, HPI RS4. Uh, I was running it in a fashion that you're not supposed to be doing because, you know, these things aren't made for that, so it gave out. Um, so I'm going to try to re replace the caps and uh, show you guys how in the process. So let's get right to it, shall we? All right, so a couple things. I went on one of the interwebs. I found a forum post. I will put a link to that forum post in the description for this video. Uh, here are the caps I purchased. Autofocus. There you go. Uh, MFR EEU FM1 V561L. These are the internal caps. Smaller ones. Thinner. And the other one was uh, MFR EEU FM1 V681. All right, these are the, the ones that poke out of the front. All right, so get started. You got to take off the four screws holding on the fan and the plastic shroud that goes over the caps. Uh, you can do that by disconnecting one, two, three, four, four screws. So basically, yeah, take these out. So yeah, take off the fan shroud. And as you can see here, let's get rid of this. All right, set that aside. So yeah, that exposes the parts you need to work on which is going to be these two caps here, which are blown. Uh, looks like they are attached to the circuit board under this, this piece of tape here, which I will try to gingerly remove. If I can't, I'm just going to rip it out. Um, so yeah, if you can see that in there. Do, 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 do. Get the light on there right. So yeah, it looks pretty simple. Just got to desolder the two points and resolder the caps onto the board, Make sure, making sure to get the positive and negative leads Right. So since this bottom half wants to fall away, I'm just going to take it off. All right. Don't need stuff clattering around. Okay. So um, I don't think you need to remove anything else from the XL2. It doesn't look like it anyways. Doesn't look like you can if you wanted to. Looks like one of these pieces slides off. So we won't be dealing with any internal capacitors. Um, actually, I can see down in there, and they don't look blown. That's the back of them right there. Those two kind of round things there. Anyway, so the internal capacitors are way down in here. They're like right here. Um, and they do not look blown. So I'm going to leave those alone. So yeah, let's just focus on the problem area, which is the two these two caps here. Um, looks like there's some sort of sealing tape. Got some sort of a bumper piece here, so you don't... We're going to go ahead and say that we don't need it. All right. I'll take a, some take some electrical tape and wrap it around there when we're done. We got some somewhere. Again, I'm not an electrician. I'm just gonna match up the poles here. It looks like they go on this way with this banded part towards the let's say toward the negative pole. Right? So I'm assuming that's a negative pole. It's got the big minus signs on it there. You can see that. So uh they go on that way, right? So know that, and if I forget, I'll have to come back in the video and check it out. All right. All right. From what I hear, this is a pain in the butt to get off, so we'll see. I wish I had my uh, clamp. Let's charge up our solder. Charter shocking machine. All right, guys. So I got the first one off. Uh, the second one, <laughs> I'm employing a different technique. Uh, I'm grabbing the capacitor and twisting it slightly so as to pull the second lead off the board. Alright guys, so I got the caps off, which was a pain in the pangus to say the least. Uh, the solder on there is no fun to work with, uh, but as you can see here, um, all the caps are off the board. Uh, and the orientation is the same as the larger lead orientation where the this side over here 
is the positive and this side is the negative. Same on both sides. So let's get the new caps on. The right ones, right? So here's your blown cap and your replacement cap. They are the same. So let's try to get the sucker on here. All right, guys, I got both the caps on. Um, basically, just solder them on. I mean, you got to uh, tan your leads and then tan the uh, the contacts and then, you know, solder them on there. So you just pop the two new caps back on there. Not too hard of a process. Um, I think the hardest part was getting the old caps off of the board and get it, and desoldering the, the uh, contacts. I probably should have sanded them a bit. So if you're doing this, uh, you might want to take a... A little bit like a fingernail file to the uh, contacts to get the, the last bit of solder off so you get a good connection. So we're taped up. Make sure we're not touching the hot part of my thing there. Uh, put the electro tape on there to uh, simulate that clear tape that was on there. And this is a little piece here that protects the uh, wire from getting worn, uh, the casing of the wire to get, from getting worn off by the plastic casing. So, bottom of the thang thang on the sham sham. Looks legit. Top of the flame flam on the shim sham. Really guys, this is really, really simple. So I'm hoping to be able to cut this video to be only like five minutes long. It took me a little long in that because I'm a noob. Looks like everything fits properly. I'm gonna go ahead and put the screws back in. All right, so it's all put back together. As you can see, <laughs> my uh, my cap back alignment is not all that great. Like one, I made the leads on one of them longer than the other. There's probably some sort of electrical rule, whereas this one will discharge faster because the leads are shorter. Blah 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 blah. blah. Hopefully that does not not gonna make too much of a difference. And I guess I'll cut to me testing it out. Uh, I hope it worked. The process was. Tedious, but not difficult by any means. It's just you got to remember the orientation of your caps, and they are the same orientation as the wires. All right, guys, here's the end of the video. I'm going to test out this uh, the cap pack replacement. Everything is in there, solid. Everything's soldered. It's on there at least to the point where it won't come off. Got my radio, my Futaba, set to the proper. Car, put that over here so even <laughs> I can get that away first uh, so here we go here we go sounds good I think we're good batteries aren't heated up, heating up cap packs good I got steering Fan on my ESC is working. The ESC is not too hot. Cap packs are not hot. That was slowly burning. Putting my face next to it probably wasn't the best idea, but there you go. So the uh, cap pack repair worked. Um, I will be out with the guys running this car, so we'll see how it does. I think I'm going to run it on 4S first. I'm going to remember to eat lunch when I'm out there. That's my that's the larger part of my problem. I, I don't eat. I start making stupid mistakes. So yeah, there you go. I don't want to pull the trigger on it because of the... Eh, I guess it could. Just give it a little throttle so I can find the trigger. Yeah, we're good. Awesome. So it all worked. XL2 repaired. Some crazy uh, heat coming off the ESC. Batteries aren't swollen up and exploding. There you have it. I brought it outside so it wouldn't burn my house down. Alright guys, 
Deuces, you silly gooses. Get that. Prepare your own XL2 cap pa caps yourself. I call, keep on calling them cap packs. They're not cap packs. We all know that. They're just capacitors. Just caps. This is a cap pack. Those are caps. Cap pack? Cap. So, yeah. Repairing your XL2 caps. Peace. Hope you guys liked the video. Uh, let me know if you've done this before and uh, had, had success. Uh, drop in the comments down there. Down in the comments below. Hi, right, bros. Peace.